Hey guys, how's it going? It's Coach Alicia, and I'm here uh, resting and uh, woo, back from a weekend in Lake Tahoe, and I'm um, sporting my Spartan shirts and uh, Spartan. Wanted to show you this baby, and uh, if you're just joining me. Just returned this weekend from Tahoe Spartan Race World Championships, and it was nutty. All I can say, it was bananas. <laughs> and so I've already made one video in our coaching group, um, in our program rut camp, um, but I just wanted to make one for my page. And bottom line, it's been one year since I've been on that mountain. Last year, competed for the first time in uh, the race. However, I don't know if people can agree with me. Some did. I talked to a lot of people at the finish line, and that race kicked my butt. Kicked my butt. It was so hard. I am, you know, I prefer uh, stadiums and sprints. So having to do, uh, you know, over 16 miles and all those obstacles, some obstacles that were doubled up, um, man, my body took a, a beating, and my knee was killing me, and so. Um, you know, I'm just happy that I finished the race in one piece. Um, it hurt going to that finish line. But for me, you know, why I compete in these races is at the end of the day, it makes me a better person. And even though it is hard, it is in this race, like I said, uh, it was straight uphill from the beginning. You know, we were out the gates. We were running up a hill. Um, we get through that, all the obstacles. The swim was cool. We had to swim in freezing cold water, but that, that wasn't so bad. Um... But finishing the last, I, I think, it was, I don't even know how many miles it was, three to four miles, it was straight up a mountain, like literally just climbing up to the mountain. And all I can do is laugh and just smile because my body was in pain. I wanted, you know, there's times in a race you want to give up, you want to quit, you want to just break down and say like, let's just, uh, what am I doing? Like, I'm just crazy. But at least I had all these other crazy people around me doing it. <laughs> and, you know, um, you know, but it's, you know, I tackle these races, not just so I can challenge myself physically. I, I do it so I can challenge myself mentally. Like, it's always, what is that uh, race that's going to push me to my limits? And Spartan, you did a phenomenal job of, of pushing us. Um, and so, I mean, I was just, my body was beat down. Like I said, my knee, I, I'm missing about 30% of my meniscus. And, you know, my knee, once that starts hurting, then my hips and then my back. And it's just like a chain reaction. But, you know, to mentally be pushed to your limits, to just keep challenging yourself, like, it, it's just like life. I look at that mountain as life. Like I said, I was there last year. And for me, this year was just about being able to tackle this mountain and not know what to expect. And like life, you're going to go through stuff. You're not going to expect certain things to happen. And for me and my family, it's been a crazy year. It's been a year of, uh, of challenges. And, and so I go into this mountain uh, thinking, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how hard it's going to be. But one thing I know for sure is that I'm going to run this race with heart. I'm going to run it with everything I have. And I'm just going to be committed 100% to just, uh, just giving it everything I have. And so this metal means so much. You know, it's just a piece of metal. And let me show you. Up close, that's what it looks like. And then in the back, which is really awesome, it says push harder. And, uh, and to push harder, I mean, <laughs> we pushed hard. And so like I said, in life, you're, you're, you're going to be challenged to your core. And, and honestly, that's how it was um, this uh this Saturday, you know, I was challenged, uh, to my core and, and, and there, you know, running a mountain, just being outdoors, just, just does so much for my soul. It, 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 it gives me, it brings me happiness. It brings me joy, no matter the pain. And just seeing, I want to thank all the Spartans out there. Like I said, I don't know many of you, we meet via social media and I, I met so many of you out there that encouraged me and just cheering each other on and uh, you would say, go coach Alicia. I had some folks from Mexico that said they follow me on social media and that, you know, watching my videos are, are an inspiration. And so I can't thank you enough. I am extremely humbled. So when I'm out there on race day, that's all I think about are the people that, you know, that are, are following me um, to be an example for my kid, my children. Um, 
you know, it, it's, it's extremely humbling to, to know that uh, what I'm doing and, and, you know, how I do it is just, you know, people are following. And so I th can't thank you enough for the people on the course that introduced yourself and said, you know, I go coach Alicia. I mean, I, I was, it was really a challenging race. It was hard. Like I said, I mean, I'm not used to that many miles and just, you know, the double bucket carries and, you know, I mean, it was taxing on the body and the mind. I know there's some people that you can tell in their faces they just wanted to give up. They just wanted to break down. And we gave each other encouragement. We kept saying, you know, just keep going. That's the beauty of the Spartan community. And so, like, in life, you're going to need people to lean on. And my, uh, my business partner, we had a great conversation be going, uh, before going into this race. And she's like, you know, I know you have a lot on your plate. Lean on me lean on others we're a team we're a family that's how you get through life that's how you get through this race is having fellow spartans telling you, you can make it up that hill telling you you can get through that swim telling you that you have like three miles ago it's all uphill it's freaking hard but you can do it and and so you know that's all i can encourage you like i said it, it this hill was like my life this year like it hasn't been easy but all I can do is keep going. All I kept saying is put one foot in front of the other and just keep going. You're going to make it. And I made it. I failed two obstacles, um, uh, the multi-rig and the twister. I barely miss hitting the bell. Um, and so, but again, people were like, man, you were so close. You almost had it. And honestly, the last half mile or I had a 0.5 miles to go in the race um, or wherever that big rig, the wooden rig structure was, right? Where the rig structure was, I cramped up majorly bad. I just hit the wall. I cramped up and I was climbing that, like just kind of screaming. And I got to the top, I rolled to the top and I was just stuck there with a cramp. And, and so luckily I had some, um, the people that were volunteering, they uh, have gone to rut camp. They knew me. And they picked me up and walked me across that freaking platform because I just, I couldn't walk. And, and so I thank them again. That's the beauty of this community that they help each other. And so it was just nice of them to get me off the structure. I was walking down and I was just cramping. So I hobbled to the finish line, you know, and uh, went across the rig, just cramped up. I had to do burpees and what do I see at the finish line? I see Winter, man. She is the coolest human being. And so Winter was cheering me on through my burpees and I can't thank her enough. And I finished the race just fully cramped up. <laughs> it, was, it was nuts. It was bananas. That's all I can say. That race was bananas. But I will definitely sign up again. I have other races coming up. But that one is by far the craziest thing I've ever experienced. But for me, this is exactly what I needed in my life. It is a challenge of a lifetime. And again, like I said, I always relate these uh, uh, races to life and, and how you can improve as a human being. I come off that mountain a better person.